Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video we'll learn how to make custom errors and warnings in React Native. Now what I mean by warnings are these small yellow boxes that appear at the bottom of the screen, and warnings are typically used to notify you of potential issues with your code, but not fatal issues, things that can be recovered from. And you can click on this yellow box and you'll get a warning message and a stack trace. And what I mean by errors are the red screens that appear, so I have something that will generate an error here when I click this button and I get this red screen that says it cannot find the variable and errors are usually used for things that cause fatal issues or things that you cannot recover from. So sometimes when writing your code you may want to create your own warnings and errors to notify yourself of something that's gone wrong. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So let's start by generating a custom warning. Let's create a button here and we'll call it show warning and the on press will be this.onWarnPress, which we'll implement right here. And to show the warning, all you need to type is console.warn and give it a warning message. So let's save that and test it out. Now when I click show warning, you'll see that the yellow box appears down at the bottom. It gives us our warning message and we can even see a stack trace. Also, if you've got a console turned on, you should see the message appear in the console. And showing an error is just as easy, so let's create a button here called show error. And on press will be this dot on error press, which we can implement here. And for the error, all you have to do is type console.error and give an error message. So let's save that and test it out. Now when I click show error, I get the red screen with some debugging information. And of course, it appears in the console as well. Uh, there it is, right there. Okay, now a couple extra tips. Sometimes you don't want the error to actually show an entire red screen and crash your application, so if you want to prevent that from happening, you can just come up to the top and type console.report errors as exceptions and set that equal to false. And now you'll get the error message in the console, but clicking on it won't actually crash your application. And we can see there is the error message that was generated. And another tip that's not really recommended, but if you want to know about it, uh, if you want to disable the yellow box warnings altogether because you have a lot of them and you don't want to see them, all you need to do is type console dot disable yellow box, set that equal to true, and now you won't see any of those yellow boxes. But you should actually try to fix as many of these yellow boxes, and if you implement them yourself, it's kind of a way of annoying yourself to fix your code and not have as many issues. So hope that helps. Thanks for watching the video.